All right, folks. We're going to start with the reassembly, but at first we got to disassemble the good parts on the old head. Okay. So if you've got good parts on your head, you know, like I know that these injectors are brand new. I mean, these I had bought like literally the day it died, okay? So I know that these injectors have zero miles on them, okay? The glow plugs, they've maybe got a hundred miles on them, okay? So yes, I have been maintaining my Volkswagen. Now, the nuts are eight millimeter nuts. Now, This is probably not what you've come for. But uh, <clears throat> your grounding strap, your strap with a loop has to go through your water neck. Now, later on in the video, we're going to cut over to the new head where I'm putting all these on but for those of you that need a referral come on I will be tearing this apart right in front of you folks, so that and this also gives me a reference point myself, so now before you put it all in folks Uh, clean up your grunt, clean up your strap, because, you know, th this literally is what powers your, uh, your glow plugs, so. Here we go. Come on. There we go. And actually, do not forget about these spring washers. Uh, yeah, I know that there's the debate whether these actually work or not, but, you know, they're there. Put them on. So, especially since, you know, folks, uh, These, these engines like to make a lot of vibration when they first start up. Until they get all four of the cylinders to light. So. Sure they smooth out once they. Uh, and. Uh, yeah, like I said. Wipe, wipe these off. Um. If you got access to a wire wheel, I, I highly suggest uh, 
wire wheeling these. Ooh, that is hard copper. I'm going to have to anneal this. And what I mean by anneal is uh, make this soft again uh, because th this is very hard and this is prone to breakage. <sighs> because uh, copper work hardens, folks. Um, and right there, I don't know if you can see it. I mean, this is a brand new camera, folks. That's another thing. Uh, brand new camera, so we get <laughs> we get a lot better uh, photo angles. Photo. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to anneal this copper strip. Darn it! I was hoping I wouldn't have to, but. Uh, it, it's looking more and more like I'm going to have to. So, uh, What you do is you get these uh, cherry red. You know, get them nice and roasty. Dip them in water. They anneal right up. And they soften right up. Uh, that's, that's the problem with copper, though. Is, is that they work hard. So, um, okay. Now, the nuts are eighths and are they those weird size? No. Yeah, they're twelve. At least they are for me. <coughs> Now, um, for point of reference, folks, uh, this is the side with the timing belt, so keep that in mind. And like I said, these are uh, relatively new, relatively new glow plugs, so. So I'm I'm just gonna stick them back in the motor in the new head. So now I have also noticed on the new head, folks, and we'll we'll look at that when we get to the new head, that uh, it's got a lot more meat. Uh, you know, it's it's got a lot more cast material, especially around the injectors and around the glow plugs and especially around the water jacket uh, a water neck hole uh, they, they really did do a lot more casting on the new head than the old one here um, you know th that may be something that they had problems with and that's how they fixed it But, uh, yeah, something to be aware of. Uh, yep. So. Yeah, that one had lots of carbon in the threads. We'll, we'll hit these with some brake clean and call it good. Um, another thing to note, folks, is uh, how they came out of the head. You know, that I, I get it that they're not like spark plugs, but uh, 
something to be aware of. You know, like that. That's burning pretty clean, so. You know, the soot just wipes right off of it, so. It, it's burning off relatively fine, so. Uh, And I know that when I went to go put these in, that this one didn't want to go in that well, so it does not surprise me that that one came out hard. So. And there again, it cleans up really nice so, uh, now the injectors there's two different ways of getting the injectors out now I have been lucky and I've just been able to use a 27 millimeter socket standard socket Pull your lines off. I'm going to keep the rubber tip on. And if your hoses are good, you know, mark them. If they're not, of which ours are not, and that's why it's getting new hoses. Now, th this is the proper injector, 27 millimeter injector socket. Uh, he, these are torqued into the head at 52 foot-pounds okay that is what the book calls for specification wise is, is that these be torqued in at 52 foot-pounds now uh, we'll try it we're gonna try it with an impact just a battery powered 3 8 drive impact we might even We'll probably try it with the electric half inch drive until it runs out of battery. But, uh, yeah. Alright, here we go. Yeah. And yeah, you are going to have a little bit of diesel leakage, so. And like I said, these are brand new injectors. So, they, they will clean up just fine. Uh, just be careful of the little pin that comes out of the injector. So, okay. That one didn't even burn. Um, actually, folks, I found out by sure luck, well, I'm glad that I pulled the head on this, because the head gasket was fried. Um, between these two cylinders, there was a big gap in the head gasket where it had actually burned through the fire ring on both cylinders. Now... For those of you out there that are actually interested in the series, um, I have a new set of rings on the way. Now, if nobody comments and says that they want to watch a ring, a re-ring video, I'm not going to do it because I really want to get this car out on the road and. 
I hate to say it folks, but uh, YouTube takes time. So, if you folks want to see it, I'll do it. But if you don't, I'm not going to. We're just gonna. I'm just gonna re-ring the motor, and we're gonna continue on with our head series. Okay. So that is something uh, to consider, folks, um, that, uh, you know, put it down in the comments, see if you want it, because it, if nobody's going to watch it, I'm not going to do it, because, like I said, it, it's going to take time. Um, but if you want to see it, great, I'll... Uh, I'll do it, but, uh, you know, it it's one of those things where if nobody's going to watch it, I'm not going to do it, okay? Now, a rubber tip. This one's got a little bit of rust in it, so. And, you know, th this is another reason why I'm doing a re-ring on, on the motor, is just so that when first fire happens, it, it's going to have all the compression it needs, all the intake air it needs, all the exhaust it needs to be a running motor. So, uh, yeah. Now, <sighs> this is more for video's sake, but these are your injector heat shields. And these need to be replaced every time you pull these injectors. Now, when you get the gasket kit, they do come with a set of four. But, if you just need to pull injectors, the cheapest place I have found of the big box uh, chain stores is Napa. Uh, O'Reilly's has a listing for them. It's just that uh, I have found that Napa's cheaper, even cheaper than Rock Auto. So, you know, folks, um, internet doesn't always pay. <laughs> so, uh, that, that's all they are is a steel crush washer. So. play dice with them. <laughs> okay, now we're going to move on to the sensors. Since we've already pulled, I've already pulled the water neck, uh, the water neck has your two uh, and coolant temp sensors. Now the one coolant temp sensor goes to the gauge. The other one goes to your injector glow plug relay. 
it's so that it doesn't run the glow plugs if the engine's hot alright so uh, if your injectors are not glowing you know you're not getting the light it's not always going to be the relay uh, at least on this 81 uh, unplug the one that would be on this side and if you get your glow plugs to cycle then it's the ther the thermistor in here so uh, this is your oil pressure sensor this does not screw out but it's got metric threads and because it's metric threads it's got the crush washer um, you'll see what we'll be doing here in a minute at least on film it's going to be a minute uh, where we're going to be adding a oil pressure uh, gauge to the vehicle now uh, this sensor takes a very large 24 millimeter socket or wrench you can get in here sort of with the wrench but you gotta be careful so keep that in mind now let's move on to the manifolds the manifolds the intake manifold is actually got hex headed bolts so they're six millimeter and oh, yeah that's the one I tested And actually, you just hose them down with your favorite penetrant, and they come out relatively easy. <clears throat> now I'm just breaking them free, because uh, I'm actually going to come back in here and probably just run them out with the impact so with that little electric impact that we used do not want to lose that washer there's a washer on each and every one of them now, some of you are going to say, what's the importance of the washer? The washer is there, <sighs> folks, from what I've been told in my, when I was working on an assembly line, I was always told that the washer is there to prevent over torquing. So, yes, the washer is very important. Now, if some of you have a different explanation, please be kind. Do not be a dick. But do put it down in the comments, okay?
heck with it. You know what, we're going to pull the intake with that. Uh, one last bolt. There we go. Now, if I remember, this is a... 13? Well, let's try the 12 just in case. No, it's a 13. So, and you know, you might want to clean your bolts. So, let's pull this intake. not pull the intake. Ah, uh, one bolt. There's always one bolt that holds you up. So. Come on, go on. <laughs> there we go. Okay. And there we go. So, uh, yeah. There we go, folks. Get the entire intake off. Now, okay. Now, here's the fun part, folks, because, uh, I do believe that the battery in this thing is dying, so, and I was hoping that we'd get through all that we needed to with just one battery. So, nope, not a 10. Let's try that 12 again. Yeah, a gauss manifold is 12. Uh, yep. Kind of thought. Studs would come out and the nut wouldn't. Because um, it's, a, it's a cut nut. So. Okay. We're going to need the extension. Now let's just go all the way. Well, let's uh, well, let's give it a whirl with the bigger. It's something that uh, got a lot, little bit more power. Nope. All right. Okay. 
Now that we got it started, maybe we can go back to the impact. Come on. Yeah. Uh, now, the new head did come with new studs, but for some weird reason, it it didn't come with new nuts. Oh, that one, the nut came off. Huh. But now it's going to be a pain in the butt because the nut is stuck up inside the socket. Oh, there we go. So, yay, got that out. Uh, and I'm I'm actually gonna try and see if I can reuse the nuts. I I know some you know some some say don't reuse the nuts. Um, you know I hate to say this, folks, but they don't make fasteners like this anymore. <clears throat> in the way of. quality you know uh, back in the 50s 60s 70s and even into the 80s folks uh, fasteners had a much higher quality than really what I'm seeing coming out now Every tool is a hammer. There we go. That did not want to come out for us. Well, maybe the next two will. Stay tuned for part two because I am going to have to go bust some nuts and uh, yeah. So uh, I don't know. I think this might be a little bit too long. So uh, we might uh, start. Uh, reassembly of the head in the next video. Uh, I'll have to watch this, see where we're at, but uh, yeah. And well, thanks for watching, folks. We'll see you on the next one.